Um, like, I think that was the main question. Was, okay, so how staccato in comparison to Glock? And it's like, well, know. you can't compare it because it's two completely different platforms. Yeah, Glock's amazing, but I feel like you need to be an amazing shooter <laughs> to shoot Glock really well. And I tell people that all the time. I'm like, shooting a gun is easy. Yeah. Shooting a gun good, it's, it, you could put some work in and you'll get there. Right. Shooting a gun extremely well is hard. <laughs> All right, welcome to another episode of the Cole El Noir podcast. And joining me today is Michelle Visguzzi. Why did I put a G in your last name? Visguzzi. That's, that's what I did, yeah, Visguzzi. This is not Viscucci. Viscucci, yeah, there's that. <laughs> anyway. Wait, people actually say that? Yeah. Oh, well. Actually, I don't know why I'm surprised. I, yeah. You know. I'm surprised I haven't messed it up that way. That's okay. <laughs> I, am a, I am a child, though, so there's that. So how you been? Good, yeah. really good. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna try and bring the energy today, but uh, as I mean, you know, I think I, th- I think you and I are probably gonna both struggle energy wise because yeah. we're we're here at the NRA and we've spent a long day. Yeah, it has long, been long, a long, long, long day. day. But um, show wise, like to me, it seems kind of light. I was gonna. I, yeah. I always try to like hear from other people what they think because obviously yeah. I don't get to walk around a lot. I'm kind of like in a booth and then go to another booth yeah. and then that's the end of it. Dude, it's light. It's light. It's really light. Now, I like it like that. I mean, because I can move around and actually get to where I need to get. Right. Um. But yeah, it's been kind of. Yeah. Well, and then everybody it, even said the show's smaller this year too. Is like, oh yeah. no, I didn't realize because. You know what? Now that I think about it, you're right. It they is said, like Even where, I don't know if you saw where Staccato was, but uh-huh. if you walk past that, like those used to all be booths there. And yeah, now it's and just now like just, food and nothing. Uh, so people are like, hey, I think it's a lot smaller yeah, this year. Yeah, it is. It I is. Yeah. Let's just stop lying. We know it is. Yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely a lot smaller. Uh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. small. And it's honestly, I kind of figured, hey, maybe it'll be really busy today because uh, Trump's speaking. And it's supposed to be the usually Saturdays are the, bu- the busiest days. The busiest days. day. Yeah. And we walked around. We did have an hour to walk around. And yeah. I was like, yeah, it's pretty. It. But it's really cold. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so I remember, um, so you were staccato now. You're shooting for staccato now. Right. Right. Um, I've known this, but. I don't know if most people, I guess, no, I think they know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, but, here and there, people come up and be like, yeah. wait, you don't shoot with Glock anymore. Yeah. And I've been with them for a year now with Staccato. Mm. So it's been a nice transition. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's been easy. The people are awesome. The guns, obviously, you know, are pretty amazing. So, okay. So about that. So I call them, I call them cheat codes. I think going from polymer, because I think you and I both kind of, came into the gun space the same way. Like we're, when like the whole strike of fire polymer thing right. was all the rage, right? Yeah. Um, and it was just start the bee's knees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like now that 2011s and double stock 1911s are starting to take hold, I, I'm like, man, dude, shooting these things are easy as shit. They're so <laughs> like, awesome. Like, so I actually have an experience. Uh, my first shot show was mm-hmm. with them last year. Uh, they had their own range day, obviously, and I was like, you know, some people come out and you, you're like, oh my God, you know, yeah. it's going to be a disaster. Yeah. And they get up there and they start teacuping the gun. And I'm like, oh, oh, they're not going to hit a thing. And then, but you know, the gun shoots for itself. Like, I mean, you don't need to be a phenomenal yeah. shooter to shoot the gun. Now, and, let's put this in perspective okay. because it might, because people might see this the wrong way. <laughs> Compared to yourself, like if you and a bunch of other people have guns yeah. that and they're all double stacked. 2011s and staccato, sure. then yeah, then there's clearly someone's going to reign right. supreme. Right? Obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. If yeah. you're a better shooter, then you're a better course, shooter. Yes. Yeah. You're a better shooter, yeah. but it still becomes easier for you to exactly. take it to the next level yep. at that point. Um, like I think that was the main question. Okay. So how staccato in comparison to Glock? And it's like, well, know. you can't compare it because it's two completely different platforms. Yeah. Glock's amazing, but I feel like you need to be an amazing shooter <laughs> to shoot Glock really well. But- and I tell people that all the time. I'm like, shooting a gun is easy. Yeah. Shooting a gun good, it's, it, you could put some work in and you'll get there. Right. Shooting a gun extremely well is hard. Right. Like, and, and I think people need to understand that. Like, there, there goes a lot of, a lot yeah. of time and, and work into being really good. Yeah. And I mean, in all fairness, like, I've watched you um, come into, you know, competition shooting. And you, I mean, you, you weren't a prodigy of any sort coming into it no. right? um, and I think that's why I related to in a lot of ways yeah. even though I give you a lot of shit even, people don't see the shit I give you they only see the shit you give me on camera but thank you Peter <laughs> but you know you you worked your way up from the ground up 
Yeah. Like and all fronts and got it out the mud. Like yeah. you you started off, you came in and you were like, okay, yeah, she's she, she pretty face. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is like before the Whatever. whole like gun bunny shit, right? Like, <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, but no, but you really, but you really did. Um, and, I appreciate that. You know, I'm really proud of you. Thank and you. I don't, I don't think I've ever told you that. No, like you, thank you. You definitely, yeah. I appreciate that no, a lot. No it means a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, took a long time. And that's, you know, a lot of people see like where, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Peter, goodness. Peter, Peter is a beast with this shit. He does this. Hey, that is so yeah. old. And that is on my page. Oh my yep, gosh. Yep. You told on yourself. Okay. Yeah. So I, this was my first, this was a Glock. No, 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 no. This is a 1911. Um, oh, yeah. It was 45. Tell, and yeah. It was like my first gun. I was like, I want a 1911. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, wow. That's great. That okay. So I was out training with Don Golombieski and uh -huh. I was training for a uh, top shot in that video. So I had never shot any of that stuff before. And yeah. anyway, so yeah, a lot of back to rewind, uh, <laughs> people will come in and be like, well, how did you get to where you are now? And it's like, guy, lady, like it took 12 and a half years to get here. Like I came into this industry, not making a dime. Yeah. Like I didn't make any money. And then like, <laughs> you know, it takes a long time to get where you are and put in a lot of yep. training and effort. And there's just a lot that goes into it. Yeah. And it's and like, it doesn't happen overnight unless you're like phenomenal. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, most people end up just seeing the after effect, right? right. Like after you've done all that work, right. all the time you put in, and then they're like, "Oh, that just is so easy." You must have just woke up one day and said, "I'm gonna." Yeah. Nah. Yeah. But I think that's a good thing. I think not that is a good thing, but right. I think what a good thing is is like you kind of serve as inspiration for people. Like you don't have to be a prodigy, no, right, to yeah. end up being a really, 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 really good <laughs> Did shoot, you see right? That yeah. Video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Totally. Yeah, but I was the same way. Yeah. Like Peter, pull up. Um, Colonel Noir IDPA Diaries. I couldn't hit still for shit. No, oh, not bad. you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I, I sucked with a handgun. I absolutely sucked. And, you know, over time. Yeah. As you keep shooting, you get better and you get think, better and you get better. I think somebody and, actually came up to me. Um, I forget where we were, but I don't think it was here. Mm -hmm. Somebody goes, oh, you know what? It was at the... Plug, plug in, staccato, oh, <laughs> the staccato ranch, <laughs> their grand opening uh, last week. And um, somebody goes, all right, so please tell me, is, is Scalion Noir really a good shooter? And I looked at him and I was like, you know what? I was like, he's not, I was like, he is not a bad shooter. I will say. <laughs> and he was like, cause you give him a lot of shit. And I was like, no, I do give him a lot of shit. I go, but no, he's not a bad shooter. Oh, um, so yeah. Look this, at you. Your little yeah, baby I, I face. I know, right? With the fucking acne on the fucking forehead and shit. <laughs> Glock 34. Yeah. So this was like, how long ago was this piece of this down? 12 years ago. Christ. This is like. Look at this. Like, Dang, I, the pants down low, uh, uh, sagging and well, everything. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't understand the setup, so it was like everything was heavy. So it was just like hanging down. But wait, hang wait, on. You're what? aiming. Um, You're actually aiming. This I, is great. Yeah, but this was also like the third comp, the third time I did an IDPA competition. No, but I I see you. You're taking your time. You're aiming. What was our first video together? And uh, you were shooting see, steel. Look at, watch this. Look at this shit. This is going to look so bad. Watch this. Watch this. Yes. <laughs> I love this for you. Look at your face. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I <laughs> oh, jerk that one. Oh Jerked all those God, triggers. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit. Ooh. Oh, this, oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hell yeah. At least I'm not shooting the reset. Yeah, no, I'm like. <laughs> And you're prep, you prepped a trigger yeah, on exactly. your weekend right there. Yeah. So that's oh, nice. not on purpose. I think it's, I think it's not on purpose. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. Look at me. That's crazy. Who are these people? Why are my shorts so low? What the oh, fuck is that? Doing? Not on purpose. It was just heavy. You got those like, you're are your shorts to down to your, your uh -huh. ankles? All right. Oh God. Wow. I wish you didn't play this. I this love is that. embarrassing. I love it. Shut up, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome. But well, yeah. good for you. I mean, so yeah, it's a, it, was a, it was a long road. Yeah, long road. <laughs> but it's a great road. A lot of people think I can't shoot. What? You know, it's funny. One time we were doing. Why, a, why do people think that? Because I think I show a lot of my misses. Yeah. Um, and I I don't know. I think maybe because I'm such a um, 
I'm a, I'm kind I'm kind of a hype beast. Yeah. When it comes to guns. Yeah. You know I like. Oh yeah, I like everything. Right? Yeah. Just like give me all the guns. Yeah. And I think people feel like, and I don't show a lot of videos of me shooting. Yeah, I do gun reviews. Yeah, right. But it's like when you when you're watching me do, they're not like me training. It's kind of like I'm shooting to demonstrate. We got to stop putting out videos with me and you then because I'm probably not helping the cause. <laughs> Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No, but I mean, I think it's, I think there's something to be said about, you know, like I started off um, wanting to get into the competition right. side of shooting. And then between then and there, I became proficient enough where I could start assessing whether a gun is good or bad. So for the most real part, quick, for, yeah. weren't we supposed to shoot a match together? Maybe. Why We should, we should. We should now. Okay, so here's what I want to. I, I don't. I don't want to. What I don't want to do is insult you. Okay. Because I know how hard you. I know the work you put into getting ready for matches and stuff. Sure. But my time, like with with everything that happened, it's hard for me to say. Like even like when I did that long range competition. Yeah. The, I was supposed to go every. What was it? Like I was supposed to be like every week, every weekend. That's a lot. That's a lot. I did a total of maybe three or four. That's a lot. In the course of like four months, yeah, right, yeah, and it was it was purely just because of my schedule. It's just it's just too much going on for me to do. <laughs> Shut up, Peter. <laughs> I like I love it. <laughs> but you're like an old married couple. I love it. <laughs> and so, what I don't want to do is be in a situation where it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. I get all excited about doing it, yeah. and then you're like, dude, you go, are you going to train? Are you going to train? Are you going to train? No, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to. Train. No, no you should literally just come out. We can train one day before the match <laughs> and then shoot the match because who cares? It's just for fun. It's not like you're True. out there trying to. I'll give to, you that. I'll give you that. Who yes. Cares? Let's yeah. just do it for fun and shoot. All right. I'll take you up on that. Or even if it's like steel. I suck at steel. Like we could shoot I like love steel. steel. I hate it. So uh, why, do you ha why do you hate steel? Because I suck at it. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> like, because I don't practice it enough. Uh -huh. So, okay. And I try so, to go faster than what I really can. So, why do you think. Okay. Because most people would think, what would be the difference? Because I don't, I don't like shooting paper. I like shooting steel because I, I get the immediate you get, satisfaction yeah, of reaction. Here. Exactly. Right. Um, so why do you think there's so much of a difference between why I would like steel or like you don't like steel? Okay, let me rephrase. I like shooting steel, mm -hmm. but I, I don't have enough patience for steel. Like where paper, like okay, I know I need to hit these. You have a huge target, and paper. You gotta shoot it, and then you can't even see what you're hitting. That's then you not true. Go up there, and then okay, you gotta so like, that's okay. What are you, what are you an eagle? Oh, you can see. Like, yes, you call your shots. So when you <laughs> get to a certain point in your like shooting career, uh -huh. you'll be able to call your shots and actually know. Oh, that was a humble brag. Where that was a humble brag. <laughs> where your shots are going. So <laughs> fair enough, and and I think, and you know what? That's that's very interesting. You say that because I think a lot of people don't know you can get to that point. It's right. Like, you know, once you once you pull that trigger, I probably missed uh, that. No, one. I yeah. I jerked yeah. it, or it went here or there, or whatever. Gotcha. Like you can, uh, you can start to tell a story, especially with your dot. If you're shooting red mm. dot, um, you can kind of see where it's going. If it's zigzagging all over the place, and it's kind of cool. So, uh, do you prefer dot? Yes, or do you, really. Yeah. Okay. So when I left Glock, I was shooting irons for forever over there. Yeah, you were shooting that weirdo gun. Yeah, yeah, my weirdo uh, gun. Yeah, pull out a Peter. Let's show the weirdo gun. <laughs> The uh, what you call it? you call it the apocalypse? The, gun. Yeah, the, the apocalypse competition gun. It's like falling apart and oh, just kidding. <laughs> he's he's these ads. These ads. <laughs> no, no, no. Watch the watch the ads, guys. Always watch the ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, you were running. You were running. Is irons, it the beginning yeah. of it? Yeah. Where? Yeah. There you go. Yep. Fix the yeah, fix the whole thing. Weird. Uh. So, I apologize. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I mean, I shot irons for the last four years, and that uh -huh. was forty, and it was nice because I moved over and I started shooting nine, and it was like, hey, you know what? I want to actually go towards uh, shooting a dot. Okay. And that, and I spent the last year shooting a red dot, and it how long is, was the learning curve? Uh, I would say about like a solid month. Okay. And, and I say that just because. And this was consistent, like it's all about the consistently. Yes, shoots. Okay. because obviously in competition, all right, mm. the gun starts on a barrel, the gun starts in here, 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 mm. or your hands are up, or your hands yeah. are, you know, whatever. So there's like a lot that you're like, oh shit, I've never picked the gun up um, from this way, uh, and I can't it. find the dot. Like, gotcha. 
or shooting strong hand, weak hand, you're like, I have no idea. Like, so yeah, it yeah, takes kind time. Of hunting for the dot, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I think it took a lot longer in the beginning because you're super consistent when you draw the gun and you can just find your irons like quickly. I couldn't do that with a dot. Yeah, I still to this day, like I think if I was ever in a defensive situation, I think intuitively I'm going to go irons depending on the distance. Yeah. So like I I carry dots on my guns for my concealed carry guns, okay. but I always have them set up in such a way I can still run irons through it. Okay. Because anything from about, I'd say up to 10, 15 yards, mm-hmm. I'm probably going to go irons naturally. I can't do it. Really? I can't do it. Oh, you're just, you're dot all the way. You're like all in. No, I can't have my irons on there too. I can't do it because then I can't focus on the dot. I'm focusing on a front sight or, and it gets in the way. Mm -hmm. So I literally remove my front sight. sight. I take it all off. I even, Uh on one of my guns, I don't have any. I remove my rear sight. Even like on your self-defense guns too? Oh, no. No. Um, No. I, I don't even want to. Uh, I want to put a dot on my carry guns. I just haven't. Yeah, I'm lazy gotcha. with those. Like, I'm just like, yeah, if I have a gun, throw it in. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. I mean, I think that's funny. <laughs> I is You're bad. worse than me. I is Because really everybody, bad. I, had, I had a guy trying to call me the other day. He's like, not call me, but like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was asking me. He's like, so what's your go to carry gun? I'm like, bro, I have a rotation. Yeah. Like, and I'm constantly testing guns. So, so he's like, so you just trust your life to any gun? I'm like, I mean, <laughs> I'm like, and I see his point. Yeah. Right. Like he makes a great point, but I also maybe not compared to you. I do a lot of shooting. Sure. Consistently. Right? right. So if I'm carrying, if I have guns in my rotation, right. I understand well, how you, I shoot those guns. You shot those guns. Exactly. Before. Right. So, you right. know, they're not going to, you yes. know, they work. And exactly. it's just like, I know I can shoot them. Yeah. So, so like, for instance, like I carry, I have staccatos in my carry rotation. Right. And some guns I have aren't 2011s. Okay. But I shot enough with staccato enough where in other, any gun that has a safe that has that type of 1911 style safety, right. where even on guns that don't, when I go to draw, I'm still into like instinctively still sweeping no. down. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, yeah, I have rotation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I Oops. Like, see. I can't because I'm not a dude, and fair enough. You know, obviously, it's hard to find guns that fit certain clothing and this and that and all that bullshit. I will say that. <laughs> I will say that women, it sucks. From concealed carry for women, sucks. It really does. Y'all don't have really much in the way of options. Y'all really don't. You know what? Uh, I've been posting this fanny pack <laughs> nonstop, and people will call me up and be like, "Oh my god, you wear a fanny." Pack. You and Joe, Rog- but, you and Joe Rogan with this. Fucking fanny pack. I it's awesome. I get it. I get why you carry a fanny pack. But, Joe's always trying to get me to carry a fanny pack. Oh, he's see, thank God, he's so good with it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's a Galco, a fast trash pack. Fast trash pack. I, you, I can't I, even say. You just fast can't get me to wear pack. You just can't get me to wear a fanny pack on any consistent basis. I won't well, do it. I couldn't see you wearing a fanny yeah, pack nah, for it's sure. Not, it's not happening. Um, but I mean, honestly, I'll shoulder. I'll shoulder holster before I carry a fanny pack. Well, what about a fanny? Yeah, like what about a crossbody? So like, here's an interesting thing about that. Um, I'm actually trying to come up with in my own bag that I like because I I have I love bags. Right. I have bags for days. Right? Sure. And I do carry crossbody sometimes with the bag. Yeah. Um, but even when I'm carrying crossbody with the bag, I'm still carrying on body as well. Yeah. And so Jeez, usually it's just guy. what's just I'm just <laughs> carrying a bigger gun. You're like all the yeah. Like, yeah it's the like I got all the guns. Yeah. Like, like I got a gun here. Got a gun here. <laughs> I got um, here. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think I like crossbody carry. I like carrying in a bag a lot of times, yeah. um, even though it's not ideal. Right. And then parts of me, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not going to be as fast. Yeah. And so I was like, I yeah. guess I just won't make it through that situation. I just, <laughs> I just feel like as long as I have something on me, I'm doing my part. I know yeah. that's bad. Look, but... I don't, I think, and I'm the biggest advocate for like, Always have a gun on you when you right. can. Carry as much as possible. You want to be ready because you never know when something can happen. I'm the biggest advocate of that. At the same time, there is life. Yeah. Right? And so sometimes there are just things, sometimes you just you just can't carry to the degree that you want to. Right. Right? Um, and, like, if I'm going to a wedding, I'm in a suit. I probably won't be able to carry as big a gun. Right. Um, or but if I'm going to the gym, I probably won't be able to carry a certain way. Sure. And so I think sometimes there is a, a lack of, go ahead. Hang on. You carry at the gym. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Where? Okay. <laughs> what? I carry off body, but I carry at the gym. Interesting. Yeah. 
I, okay. Yeah, I have like, it, there is, there's, even when you think they're not around, they're around. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't think I've ever been like, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. going to take my gun to the gym. Oh, all the time. I never go. I've been to, I've gone to the gym. I'm like, I treat my gun like I treat my headphones. Yeah. If I go to the gym and I have to get my headphones or my AirPods, whatever the case yeah. may be, I'm going back home and I'm going to get them or I will buy new ones. Yeah. And I'm not doing, I'm not working out listening to this top 40 shit that they're yeah. playing in the gym. I'm not doing it. So, and so, I'm, I'm, I'm gone to the gym and didn't forgot to bring my gun. And I turned around, went back and got my gun. That's like Mike, Mike, yeah. like my husband, yeah. he'll literally, he'll make it to the gym and he'll be sitting there and he'll be like, I forgot my headphones. And yeah. I'm like, I'm go. okay, I'm go. well we're here. And he's like, no, I can't no, go in there. No, no, yeah. no, you can't, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not happening. I'm not going inside the gym without my own headphones. Yeah. Yep. Not doing it. I can't not listen to music and no, there's not, I'm like, oh my God. And they play the, t- they play the worst music in gyms. <laughs> The absolute worst. The only places is I'm psychotic. I can get clearly. through a workout yeah, without yeah. listening to music. Anybody who can work out in the gym without <laughs> headphones is a psychopath. A psychopath Straight yeah. up psychopath. I yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I'm I get through it faster because mm. I know I'm just like unmotivated this and I don't want to be there and I have no yeah. music. So I'm like, well now I just gotta get through it faster. I don't know. Every time I go to the gym, it sounds like I'm at a gay club. <laughs> <laughs> it does. That's all they play. They do have some so how do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> I love the chimes. So, in all fairness, right? A lot, little, little known fact about me for most people. Known fact. Um, I used to work when I was in college. I worked at Armani Exchange. Okay. <laughs> and I worked at Armani Exchange for like three years. Um, basically, I mean, it's own thing. <laughs> and um, and I was one of two or three guys there who were straight. Everyone else was gay. Yeah. And. They played the gayest music. I mean, it was. It felt like a gay club in there. Yeah. So when Peter says, "How do I know?" I know. I yeah, was like, "Hang on," but you still have an answer. Yeah. That's the, so. That's how I know because the the playlist was gay. Because they were. It was all a gay, gay ass gay playlist. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> um, and so that's. Are you on? Are you? Don't mind me. <laughs> What's he on? He's on Armani Exchange. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So He's yeah. So like, <laughs> I was I was a mall employee. So you know, I I'd, I'd had to hear this this. Same music over and over yeah. and over and over again. Like some Abercrombie. No, 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 no. No, Armani Exchange was very specific. Their music was gay. They're just that's it. That's the end. Their of music it. was gay and done. Yep. <laughs> now, I don't know what they were like now. I haven't been in Armani Exchange in years. But Where you when shopping? I was working there, nowadays. Uh, Other than yourself. What do you mean? Other than your oh, mother did my brand. Yeah, yeah. Um. So jean wise, uh, I wear a lot of AG jeans. Okay. Um, I'm a big fan. I'm a big Saint Laurent fan. That's I'm real big on. I don't know why. I might even I might even the body body shape for that brand. Yeah. But for whatever reason, I was find I managed to find stuff that fit me. Yeah. Um, let's see. Have you seen? You're gonna kill me oh, for God. this. Because <laughs> you said body shape. Have you seen that? Um, Kim Kardashian has come out with her own like men's line of skims. No. <laughs> right up your alley. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. Oh my god, you were at you were saying you, it's you wanted to look, you know, bigger. Mm-hmm. You could put on her like slimming. I didn't say I wanted to look bigger. I just said I wanted to be big enough. I said I didn't want to be <laughs> Sorry, I, hang on. This was a conversation we were having off camera. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh look, see? Maybe they're not clothed, they're just boxers. Is, 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 no, she, is, is Kim sponsoring this? No. So yeah, let's take this off. All right, yeah. so. <laughs> And cut. <laughs> um, no. So I just want to, like I said, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I just want to be able to fill out my clothes. Yeah. Right? So that's it. I'm not going to wear skims to we, do it, though. Whatever. Nah, I'm going to do it. Said, and the funny thing, she's probably going to make a billion off that shit. I I know everybody hates this, but, like, I like them. I really like them. For men or for women? For women. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. yeah uh, I like Design them. by a woman. Yeah. <laughs> That makes sense. I'm talking about the men's side of it. She's going to make billions. She's already made oh, billions off of the female I mean, side of it. She makes billions on it. I will say she under the whoever's whoever's choosing the, and it's pretty much Kanye essentially. Cuz I was like the color palette, her color palettes are dope. Yeah. I'll give her that. Love them. Yeah. Um I'm sure she's not the one picking out those color palettes, no. but nonetheless. Yeah. No, they're awesome. So. They they look good for They're they're awesome. Like every color she has, it looks great. So, I trying to get a, trying to get a skim sponsorship. No, I actually am sponsored by Howitzer. 
<laughs> Excuse the fuck out uh, of me. <laughs> we're coming out with our own lion of things. Excuse so, me. So uh, we have our own like skims. Okay. Thing. All right. So what is it? Is it going to, is it just purely fashion or is there going to be functionality uh, involved I mean, or is it going to be? So the owner of Howitzer, it was sp- more specific to shooters and okay. he's like really just loves shooting and wants to give back to the people in the shooting community. So he's like trying to get with USPSA and just kind of do those things. But he is the original owner of Affliction. Mm. Um, oh, I remember those way days. Back oh, in the day. shit. <laughs> the so, Ed Hardy era. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> but anyway, so um, he's come out with, you know, he, who else does he have? Like JJ Ricaza, Max yeah. Michelle. Like, I was oh, JJ. I haven't talked to him in a while. He's awesome. Yeah, he's always JJ. awesome. Yeah. Um, but now we came out with these leggings and women love them because mm-hmm. they're specifically, Hey, they thought I was crazy. Cause I was like, I want leggings for shooting. And they're okay. like, what do you mean? And go like so leggings, you, but I want the belt joke, loops to be you low. Knee, you got knee pads in them and shit. No, no, just no. Joking. I'm like, no, I don't want any I'm of joking. that joking. stuff. I didn't want it to be tactical. Nothing. I want I'm it to joking. look normal. You gotta like, put Molly on the leggings. <laughs> no. Um, but the belt loops are lower so that women can actually draw from a regular position and not have them like bet, up in their tits. Uh, uh, I never thought about that. A lot of people yeah. make leggings, but uh-huh. they keep the belt loops where right. they should go. And then they're high waisted. So these are high waisted. So they cover your belly, okay. but then your belt loops are on your hips. So therefore you yeah. can draw and you don't have to come up really oh, high. Yeah. It's all in the same position. I don't have those problems, but I mean, Hey, yeah, you don't, if you like them, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think that makes sense. I think that's very forward thinking because I yeah. think there are a lot of little things that people don't think. It's about little things, but like if that, for yeah. our women, like, I mean, yeah. obviously not, not a lot of people think but <laughs> about that, but for women, it's, it's, yeah. it's a pain in the ass. So we came out with those and mm. then we'll be coming out with like, uh, it is like a skims top. And so, I mean, it is based off a of shooting, but it's uh-huh. also off stuff like, oh, I could wear that out. I can work out in it. I can go to the range in it and I can go out in it. Like, gotcha. So, okay. Well, nice little plug for your little brand. Yep. Thank you. No. I'm, I'm down to help however I can. <laughs> yeah, shit. But no, um, you know, like going back to the topic of like the bag thing too. Yeah. So that's a big thing for me. Like I really, I'm most of the bags that I've seen that I want to carry. So like I was carrying this uh, Louis crossbody bag. Yeah. I was literally like Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I already know it. (laughs) And I like it, but I got to be honest. There's a certain, there's still an undertone of of femininity to it. I don't care for. Yeah. Right. Um, But then European. It is, but I also don't want it to be too overly tactical. Yeah. Right. And a lot of the bags I see, I just don't like them. Aesthetically. I don't, they're not bad. I just don't, they just don't do it for me. Yeah. Sure. Um, But the weird thing is, is that Louis bag is actually pretty, Functional from a really getting to my gun quickly standpoint. Is yes, is it the big one? Like it's it's like um, made it's for like, men. Yeah, the yeah, one that's okay. made for me. Yeah, yeah where yeah. they kind of wear it in the front. Even yeah. though I don't wear it in the front like that, I just I just can't bring myself to do it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. But you know, so I've been I've been going back and forth. It's very I'm, Armani of you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna uh, I wanna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with something. That I like. And that's typically what I do. I make stuff that yeah. I like and then hope everybody then else hope likes everybody it. everybody likes it, which people typically do because they're looking for the same thing. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 I would, I'd like a crossbody bag. Um, I use Louis Vuitton mm-hmm. as well. And, uh, but mine's like, a, I don't remember the name of the bag. And I typically don't like to say, yeah, I, cur- I purse carry. Yeah. Because people are like, Ugh. Well, let's, I mean, but, let's, let's talk about that, right? So I've rarely met a girl who was into firearms that didn't purse carry. I personally think it is unrealistic to tell women not to purse carry. Yeah. I do. I mean, honestly, like, hey, if you're wearing different clothes every mm -hmm. single day, like, well, I don't have a holster that fits this, or I don't have, I don't want to wear a belt, or I don't, you know, it depends on the outfits or how you're looking, or if you're in a dress or whatever the case may be. It's like, I will always have a gun on. It's just in my purse. I'd rather have it on me than not have it on at all. True. And I'm going to be honest, and I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this. I'm... If there is a girl and she always carries, no, I can't say that. I was going to say something I took it back because there are other ways you can carry. <laughs> now I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, most girls I've dated or date, they're going to carry in a purse. <laughs> it just, it just, it does not, it just doesn't fit their motif and style. It's yeah, just not going to happen. I agree. Um, but it, but it is, like I said, it's really hard to come, figure out ways 
I had one girl who she she kind of created a way to carry. I mean, she was carrying full size XCs in yeah. her purse. That's <laughs> that's great. Well, what does she that's, have? A massive bag? Like, no, really? It wouldn't. It wasn't small, but it wasn't massive. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck you did that? And she like kind of like just like custom. <laughs> literally, she'd have this like Chanel bag and like custom made. Uh, you know those like clip holsters. Yeah. That she covers the yes. trigger guard yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then she like sewed it, but she I mean she. She does this for a yeah. living. So she it sewed it into the bag. That's kind yeah. of cool. And so then now, so she could put that in there, any gun she wanted to. Um, and then if she ever had to go to draw, she can draw and it pulls off. Yeah. I, I mean, a couple of companies have things like that. I know, so obviously I'm going to bring Galco up, uh, but they, I know they had a Velcro piece that you could actually Velcro and stick it in your purse mm-hmm. and then it has a holster awesome. on that. Gotcha. Um, yeah. But I've only tried that a couple of times. Normally I just use their... It's probably even worse, but I use their uh, holster, put my gun in the holster, and just put it in put my in purse. purse yeah. I'm just like, eh. I mean, like it's I said, not going to be the fastest, but at least it's I have better than nothing. I, right. I will say that right. much. Um, I think sometimes we can get a little dogmatic in the space about yeah. you should only do it this way and only this way that way. Yeah, I'm like, man, if you got a gun on, you got a gun on. You just understand the limitations that come with the way you're carrying the yeah. gun. So if you have it in the purse, understand you might be a little slow to get to the yeah. gun. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you're not you're not gonna get on judgment so there. This is this is okay. We'll go back to the oh, fanny no. pack. Right. And when I was posting a bunch of videos on this fanny pack, people mm-hmm. are like, "Yeah, well, you're taking your eyes off the target," or um, "Yeah, but you have to look down at it," or like, "Can you do it on the move?" And so I literally, I like, I was like, "This is never gonna end." So I yeah. was like, "I'll make a video for every single time somebody <laughs> says like, well, can you do this?'" And yeah. then I do, and I was like. Well, now what? Like, yeah, like no matter what, you should train how you're carrying. Yeah. So that way when you're actually yep. carrying, you're like, okay, I'm not going to suck at this. Um, I mean, think about it, though. A lot of people, like even for people or guys who carry on body, they carry on body and they're in their cars a lot. Yes, and they've never yeah. actually tried to draw and yes. shoot while they're Sit, in their while car. While you're seated, yep. right. And or belted. in a seatbelt on it yep. and all that And stuff. they've never done it. And you'd be real surprised. Yeah, it's pretty, real surprised pretty damn slow, it. isn't it? Yep. <laughs> it's slow as shit. Yeah. Um, what videos? Oh, sorry. I was looking at what Peter was doing. I saw something that caught my eye. But no. <laughs> it looked like she did. It did. Like, it did. Yeah. It did. What? And I was like, and I was like, was like he, there was a video that looked like me. And oh. I was like, but I know all my videos that I've done. So when I saw that, I was like, we don't use that font. And so I was like, and I was like, I've never seen that. I was like, oh, okay. That's not me. Um, <laughs> okay, great. I'm just being racist <laughs> against myself. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just being racist. Basically. <laughs> Got it. Um, but yeah, I think if you're going to carry any way you're going to carry in the way you, at any point, any type of way you carry, you definitely should try to train to right. get to your gun right. as fast as you can and do sure. it regularly. Even if it's at your house, right. just unload the gun, put it, yeah. carry in your Drive purse, fire. carry in your purse. Yeah. Think about the worst case scenario mm-hmm. and then understand, okay, if I ever have to go to this gun, this is, this is what's going to happen. Right. At least then you know. Right. And you're not like surprised when you're like, oh shit, I can't get to my gun right now because I'm terrified and my hands are shaking. Or, and yeah. Or it's the people who are literally make comments and be like, hang on, so you carry one in the chamber? And you're like, hmm, yeah. how do you carry? Okay. Like, okay, so if I were being attacked, the first thing I'm going to think of is definitely rack my gun. And, like, yeah. oh man. And that, I think, and I think too, people are, and I think that's, kind of the drawback a little bit with firearms because they are very easy to use right. and they're very simple to use. Sure. The problem is, is when you start adding the other extra elements of, Oh my God, somebody's trying to kill me. Right. Things, it, it makes things complex. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think a lot of people genuinely think I'll have, cause they only think about the best case scenario when they think of self-defense situation. Sure. Right. Yeah. I'm going to have, I'm going to be able to see it coming. Yeah. I'm going to have like 10 minutes. I'm, I'm going to be able to get to my gun. Right. I'll be able to rack it, <laughs> sit here and do all this. And it's like, uh, are y- you? you may, Maybe not. But exactly. Yeah. Um, and then when you start putting them under the pressure of a timer. Yeah. Right. And that's why I think most people should try to do competition. Look at my being fucking hypocritical ass. <laughs> so <laughs> I love it. I think everybody should t- do some type of um, competition style shooting so that they can simulate that yeah, pressure. But how does that relate to real world? It's better than not doing anything. <laughs> right. Like, I mean, I think, and I've talked to a lot of guys who, I'm kidding. I'm I know, totally I know, but people think like that though. Yeah, I know. Right? Um, I've talked to a lot of guys who have been down range. They've been shot and they're like, and they do competition shooting yeah. because, and they're like, we learn, I learn a lot. You learn a lot. From the competition side it's too. It's like, yeah, you don't take everything, but honestly yeah. it'll make you a better shooter and you yeah. can apply that to real world everyday shooting. 
Absolutely. I, like, no, you're not going to use the rules and the this and that and whatever. Mm-hmm. But you can take all that and apply it. Like, to, no, but your target's not shooting back at you. <laughs> I'm going to make some targets where they shoot bullets at you. I know. <laughs> so ridiculous. But, I mean, I, I get it. I mean, I, I don't judge the fact that, you know, people want to make sure people are as prepared as possible. Sure. But there is an aspect to it that's kind of like, is this – Really, you wanting to make people prepared, or are you gatekeeping? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a, there's that fine balance that you kind of have to have, and and sometimes I think it's one kind of a, either it's like a certain level of elitism, right? And then there's some gatekeeping. Yeah. You know, it's kind of <laughs> like just let people get to where they get. Yeah. Like let them let them undergo the process, right? <laughs> so true. Um, you know, and you know, correct correct when wrong, right? Yeah. But I think I do think sometimes you know we may be a little much. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not, maybe not you, because you're so perfect, right? Oh, yeah. Michelle's so perfect. Oh, my God. She's such a great shooter. Nah. <laughs> but, no, like, um, you know, I always love doing content with you. It's always a blast, even though everybody just rather enjoys to see, seeing me get made fun of by you. It's great. You're well, one of the only few people I let do that. We, uh, let, let me. Yeah, I'll let you. Yeah. I think Peter is actually the guy who lets we get away with all of it. <laughs> we're, not even, we're not even gonna start with Peter, uh, start but Peter. we'll have to do it again. We'll Absolutely. actually have to go like shooting. I'll, I'll I'll take you up on this, and you said the magic words. Just come train once yeah. the day before the competition. Yeah. Hey. You touch my inner <laughs> my my what is, what is the word uh, procrastinator? That's yeah, what you did. No yeah. big deal. Hey, yeah. get at least some rounds down range, and then we can yeah. shoot. Okay. Wait. So what is so what is going to be? Is that? What, just, I'm, I'm, a hor- a, I'm a horrible friend. I don't even know what type of competition style you shoot. Is it USPSA? US, USPSA. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Real quick, ex- explain it. Explain what US. What's the style difference is really quickly. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. Yeah, so, put you on the spot? United States practical pistol shooting. Okay. There's IPSC, which is international yeah. practical okay. pistol shooting. Um, there's this is really more for me than anybody steel else. Steel challenge, yeah. which is all steel, and then um, there's a bunch more, but those are like the main three that I've ever done. Okay. Uh, so USPSA is obviously they they'll do different targets in mm-hmm. there, which is like the silhouettes and the kind of diamond yeah, like shaped targets, uh-huh. which I call the IPSC targets and then you have you have different roles mm-hmm. for USPSA and for IPSC so different gun roles as well mm-hmm. so different uh mag capacity or sorry mm-hmm. uh it just it just depends on like every the divisions everything you're doing mm-hmm. but um USPSA I think is more lenient in things than IPSC mm-hmm. But IPSC is all about like accuracy and okay. hitting points um whereas USPSA is more about like Okay, it just depends. Speed or accuracy. You always want to do both. Gotcha. You know me. I like I like shooting fast. So, so yeah. IPSC might be a little different for you because it's very accurate. Like you have to be accurate. It's we're all not about doing points. It. We're not doing IPSC. Yeah, we're not doing IPSC. We're doing fast shit. We're, we're, doing, we're doing, doing fast, yes, fast, fast stuff. Yeah, USPSA. Yes. Uh, <laughs> or you could shoot steel. Ch- I don't do accuracy. Sure. I do like I do like the idea of steel. But ch- that's hard because then you have people who are just blazing fast, and so yeah, that requires a lot of. What practice. are you saying? Trying to say that I can't compete. I am trying to say that it might not look good. <laughs> <laughs> when have I ever worried about looking good? That's never been a concern oh, yeah. for me. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> I never tell Peter to edit out my missus. That is true See? And you know if it, you know it wasn't, he'd say that shit too. <laughs> oh man. Now Peter has offered. He's like, hey. I can yeah. uh, edit I, and, and, I, and I think he's just trying to jab me he just wants to like stick the knife in me when i'm shooting bad this on is, that particular day this is why you're so real this is probably why people think that mm, they ask the question oh, is so he I, really a good shooter i will say this was the funniest thing that ever happened to me in, in that that vein of idea of like i can't shoot sure. very funny um i was doing an uh it was an fn event mm-hmm. and then they were releasing some guns or whatever and part of it we were was designed around we were going to take like a, a day and a half a two day shooting course with tim kennedy Oh, cool. Um, and he was teaching the course. Mm-hmm. So we're doing the course. We're shooting. We're doing drills, all the stuff like that. And then, like, he stops in the middle of the damn thing. And then he, I don't know, you know, I don't know if you know Tim, but Tim's, sure. Tim does Tim. Yeah. So <laughs> he's like, I just want to say, I got to be honest, when I knew he was coming out here, I, I, I really didn't think this guy could fucking shoot. Oh, he shit. Said, yeah, Tim said this shit. Thank you and, so much. And then he's That's like, so sweet. you know, we're about half a day in. 
No, nah, this motherfucker can shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, well thank thanks. you. Thanks, Tim. A great compliment. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. So, yeah, there's that. So, so you're, you're saying I'm, you're. I'm really humble good bragging shoot. through Tim. Yeah, thank you. I was yeah. like, okay, I picked this up. Yeah. Come on, I'm a lawyer. I do this on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, whenever you're in town, let me know when we'll jump on the podcast and we'll. Shoot the shit. Heck yeah. Well, I'm always in August. Like, or August. August. I'm in August. I'm oh, yeah, you're not Austin. that far. You're not that far away now. Yeah. Because yeah. you're with the cotton. Yeah. Under. I fly in at least like once a month. So okay. we'll have to plan something. Well, we'll train. Well, if, when I do this shooting competition, we'll train our training session. It'll be like a, like a, we can do it like a lot. We can stream it. Okay. I don't know about it yet. We can stream our training session. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So, um. Uh, I mean. Shut up. Right. <laughs> I already know what you're going to say. Shut up. I'm like, Shut up. Uh, okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't hear it. Yeah, don't worry. I ain't worried. Yeah, okay. Sounds I good. Worried. I ain't got no shame. <laughs> well, I think the people will love it, so. Yes, I think they will, too. I think they would, too. I would shake your hand, but, you know, me and my allergies, I've been kind of mm-hmm. doing all this stuff. Yeah, totally. I don't know who you've been touching at yeah. the already. You've been touching more people than <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.